everybody, welcome back to the Medical Projects YouTube channel. If you are new around here, my name is Olivia and I'm a third year medical student at King's College London. And here on this YouTube channel, we create tons of content to assist you guys with getting your dream spots at medical school. And I offer you all of the advice and tips and tricks I've learned along the way. So if that sounds like something you might enjoy, do make sure you click that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so that you can be notified every time we post. Also make sure to go and follow us on all of our social media pages. We love interacting with you guys and we're happy to answer any questions you might have. So with it being mid-September the medicine application season is just around the corner and you guys will be submitting your UCAS applications on October the 15th which means a lot of you will be currently writing your personal statement. Now if you're new to the medicine application the personal statement is something everyone has to write to get a place at university but in particular it is very very important when considering your entrance into medical school because it's your opportunity to demonstrate to the admissions tutor that you have a realistic insight into what a career in medicine entails and you've really explored this subject in great detail. Now understandably it can be very daunting when you're thinking about writing it, it's only 4,000 characters long which is not very much at all and it's hard to know where to start in terms of structuring it so that's what I wanted to talk about today. I'm going to talk you through a general structure that I used when I wrote my personal statement in the hopes that it will help you guys. Obviously you can structure this however you like but hopefully this will offer some assistance if you're struggling and you can think about the things that you need to be including. Your first paragraph is going to be your opening paragraph and that is going to be all about your motivation for studying medicine. Why is it you want to study medicine? And in particular, make it clear why it is medicine specifically and not nursing or being a paramedic, for example. You don't have to say this explicitly, but I suggest avoiding phrases such as I want to help people because Lots of professions do that and that's not something that is unique to being a doctor. It could be a personal reason, it can be because you have an interest in science and you consider yourself a strong communicator and you think medicine is the perfect marriage between the both of those. It can be any reason but be honest, try not to use too many cliches such as I have a passion for science or I've wanted to be a doctor since as long as I can remember because they're just phrases that the admissions tutors will be tired of hearing so you want to try and stand out as much as possible. I wouldn't spend too long talking about this, your introduction should be short and snappy, to the point to grab the reader's attention, but more importantly you need to bulk out your personal statement with your work experience. So this is where I suggest you begin with paragraph two. In paragraph two I suggest you talk about some of the things that you've done to ensure that medicine is the correct career path for you. So it might be things like shadowing opportunities you've had, any volunteering you've done, if you've done some work in a healthcare setting such as a HCA, those are all really really good things you can talk about. But the most important thing when it comes to talking about these is to reflect on your experiences. It's no good going into detail describing at length an interesting surgery you watched or an experience you had. That really doesn't matter and it's not going to impress the tutors in the slightest. The most important thing you need to be doing is saying, well, I witnessed a bunch of teamwork when I was watching this surgery or during my work experience, I saw the importance of having good communication skills because I saw a doctor communicating with a child and then later on an adult and that required a different approach. And that's something I think I'm good at because I do X, Y, and Z. So try and identify the key traits that you saw on your work experience, explain why it's important as a doctor, and then try and show the admissions tutor that you possess this yourself because you demonstrate this skill in your day-to-day -day life. I suggest you allocate most of your words to this paragraph because this is going to be your most important chunk in your personal statement. So remember, try avoid describing things in detail. Instead, try and reflect on what you've seen. In the next paragraph, I suggest you talk about some things that you do outside of medicine. And this is because it's really important as a medical student and as a university student in general that you're able to balance a busy work life alongside a social life because it's really important that you have hobbies outside of medicine, especially because this career is one that is going to be very stressful. And so they want to know that you're going to be able to balance the two and you're going to be able to take some time out of medicine to de-stress. So you can be talking about anything in this paragraph. Talk about things you enjoy. So it could be running, you might be playing in a team sport, you might be musical and you might play an instrument. It can be anything you want. It doesn't have to be something super impressive, like I'm grade eight at piano and grade seven in trumpet. You you just need to talk about the things you enjoy. 
So I think in my personal statement, I spoke about how I enjoyed playing hockey and I really liked reading and I liked creating videos and I did all these things alongside my busy studies. And again, talk about why that's important as a doctor. Why is it important that you're able to balance these extracurriculars alongside your busy studies? Well, it's because it shows you have really good time management skills and you're going to need to have that as a doctor. In the next paragraph, I think it can be really beneficial to talk about your understanding of what a career in medicine actually entails and how you're going to deal with some of the difficulties. Loads of universities want to see that you've got a realistic insight into what a career in medicine is actually like. And what they mean by this is you understand that, you know, it's not all glamorous, it's not what you see on TV in Grey's Anatomy. And actually there are some real drawbacks to the job and there are some real difficulties that come with being a doctor. So these are things like really long working hours, often unsociable working hours. There might be situations you're put in which make you feel uncomfortable. They test your ethics, they test your resilience. And all of these things are things that you're going to have to be able to deal with as a doctor. So it can be really beneficial to talk about how you think you're going to get through the more stressful parts of the job and get through the stresses of medical school too. So you might want to think about the ways you de-stress in your normal life, whether that's practicing mindfulness or taking some time out to see friends. It's just really helpful to let the admissions tutors know that you understand that medicine is a very difficult career but you're already well equipped to deal with these stresses. Following on from that by this point you probably won't have many words left but I think it can be a nice opportunity to briefly slip in some qualifications or awards you've achieved that you're really proud of. So you might choose to actually put this with your extracurriculars and you might say you know I played piano and I was actually able to achieve grade blah 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 in it or I played hockey throughout my time at school and we managed to win x amount of competition this is kind of your opportunity to gloat about the things you're proud of so these might be academic things they might be things you've done outside maybe you've done some fundraising as part of a charity and you've raised a significant amount of money it can be anything but this is your opportunity to sell yourself and show off about some things that you're proud of and finally by this point you will probably have used up most of your 4,000 characters that are allocated to you and so it's time to work on your conclusion now a lot of people worry about the conclusion because they think it needs to be really elaborate and padded out but actually just like the introduction it should be short and snappy summarize exactly why they should take you why should they take you and not someone else? Do you have a key attribute or a skill that you want to reiterate that you think will make you a fantastic doctor? If so, this is the place to put it. Again, try not to be too cheesy. Just really speak from the heart and say exactly why it is you want to be a doctor, why they should take you. This is your final opportunity. And I always say, imagine you've got one candidate here and yourself here. What is it about you that makes you so unique? And what is it about you that's going to make you an asset to the university you're applying to? So that is my general structure when it comes to writing your personal statement. I really hope you guys found this useful. Let us know down in the comments if you are writing your personal statement currently and how you are getting along with it. And as always, if you have any further questions or comments, do let us know. Make sure once again that you have subscribed to this channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in another video very soon.